Hello everyone, we are playing Scenario 14 by and behold of the campaign Invasion from the Unknown and you're watching Cyber Neuro Druid. We have to defeat some Saurians, we have to defeat some Chaos Warriors, we have to keep our heroes alive and we have to do all of this while there are rabbits in play. So we must be very cautious. These sprites are apparently not super useful later in the campaign, certainly not as far as I can remember, so... We'll just let them go over here. And then we've got a little bit of gold left that we can recruit some powerful troops with. There are very few loyal units in this campaign. I think Fellow might be handy. I want some people who can level up as well. Let's get some level 2 units into play. It'd be a nice compromise between overpowering level 3 units and uh, everyone else. And Aerari the Dark Sorcerer can come out to play as well. Tempting to have the bats. Um, I don't think I need it. I don't think it will be the most useful person to have. But I will have Pethy and the Rider. And I will have. Do I need another healer? Can I make do with one healer? Oh, I've got a healer. Velia the Ranger as well, who's got one of the best combinations of traits for Rangers, which is Resilient and Dexterous. Maybe let's see if I can complete the scenario with just these folks. No one else at all. Uh, best to scout. Okay, there is a Falcon. Don't see any other enemy units yet, apart from falcons and wabbits. So I'll just hop into this bush, and we'll see who comes. Well, Keshar, I think you're best served by heading north. In fact, in general, everyone is best served by heading north. And is that, yeah, that is enough troops. Oh, I'm already making a loss. So, Galas, you head north too. Linear, with your flying ability and your ability to hide in forests, you can scout a little bit faster and better than everyone else. So, you go over here. And can you see anything interesting? No, not really. Maybe down here. Nope. Okay. End of turn. What the hell? Are those elves and undead at their command? This is most unusual. What the hell's that? The leech wants to see our leader's head on a stake. Go get them, you useless scum. Already working on it, boss. Attacking the wildlife, have you no shame? Okay, so the Saurians are up to the north, and we cannot yet see... ...anyone else. That's a nice tree. Melanie can hang out there. 
Now where'd that rabbit go? There it is. Okay. Um, so there was a falcon there. And it's daytime, which is when these saurians are weak. But also when Igor is weak, so I don't want to just run out. Instead, it makes more sense to do some scouting. Oh, there's a keep in the center. Okay, that's good to know. Gallus, then you can head for that. Go around this rabbit. Oh, the rabbit's going to get in the way. Okay, I'm going to take out the rabbit. <laughs> the rabbit makes a very uh, reptilian noise when it dies. Now, this Dark Sorcerer is incredibly slow. Or rather, the rest of my units are incredibly fast. I still have to remember that that's part of the calculation. Okay, there's nothing too terrifying in this Saurian force so far. What's that? That's a crow. Okay. Ah, lovely little animals. Still no enemies in sight on this flank. Oops. No, no, you're not in range of anyone yet. And we've got lots of out-of-water Nagini, who are not the most terrifying opponents either. Where are the Chaos Troops? Can't see them anywhere! There's supposed to be two enemies on this map. Don't want to go and grab that house. Seems risky. I'm going to go over here instead. All y'all can head forward. Mal. Who's the fastest around here? That would be you. So I put Malkashar there. I can lure out some Saurians, have a big scrap in the forest, and hopefully my elves will be able to just clean up. That might give me some more visibility. Are you going to still attack the farm animals? Is that still a part of your plan? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, you kill those rabbits. Okay, now it is hard to hit these guys when they're in the forest. There is that at least. And there are more of them than I was hoping for. And it's night time. It's the short dark. How many people can reach Malkeshar? Because everyone else can just pull back out of range. And I can let my only nighttime unit 
deal with this situation. Not my only one, I've got the sector. But I'm fighting this battle mostly with elves. Okay, so you guys can capture this village, but what you can't do is capture it if Igor is in it. And then you'll have to stand on snow and fight him, which will not end well for you. You can go up here. No! Oh. Chaos troops are nowhere to be seen. Alinea, I don't want you to get too far out on your own. But I'm sure the enemy isn't over here to the right. And I'll just finish off this rabbit in case it chooses to go postal on me. Okay, you're largely blocked. It's a shame you can't quite get in there. Oh yeah, you can, you can. Okay, so you can take an attack from one of these guys if you really have to. Most of the rest of you guys are useless. This, this flank's fine, so I might as well move more people up. Thank you. And you. And you, and maybe you come over here. You just move as fast as you can, because you're not very fast in general. Okay. Kill my healer. But now it's the morning again. Ah, there we see some enemies. They're not chaos. At least these guys aren't. They would appear to be orcs. And you, yeah, that's pretty cowardly to be honest. You mostly just stuck around in your base. Well, it's only going to get brighter from here on in. Well, let's have it then. You park your asses out into the forest. At least a few of you can reach. Still happy for you to come and attack my troops who are sitting on the snow. That's 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 really no problem at all. Even you.
these guys I'm just hoping they're going to attack our Keshar because he can take it. come back towards the center of the battle. You could get attacked, that's fine. Okay, lots of walks coming in. Now it's daytime, so this is the best time to push back against absolutely all of these units. Just gotta do so cleverly so that I don't die. quite funny to use an explosive arrow there, but I decided not to. You can't reach. Okay, you. Didn't quite get a kill. That's fine. Huge amounts of experience to level up these sprites, that's one positive feature of them. And they are reasonably good at defense in the woods. Still, don't want to make them front line. Alinea, I want you to come back to the rest of my troops, but do so slowly. Don't reveal yourself to these crazy wolf riders. Just enough for you to level up. And Marcus Shah, you can continue to hold position up there in the north, while you, Galas, actually run down here. Are there any other any troopers with? There's no one with, with the skirmisher ability around. That's good. So I don't need to worry about my druid. Okay, you're gone. And Blue's troops are looking very, very reduced now. So I want to move you up. 
I think I do. I want to move you to here. Okay. player really has no idea um, and yeah it's going to rely somewhat on the purple player coming in and backing him up because otherwise I will be in there killing things do need to make sure that Eleni doesn't kill I hope, I hope the enemy can't see these uh, glowing light symbols, because if they can, their ability to hide in forests is not all that helpful, actually. It's the second midday, so we'll be coming up to the long dark soon, so I want to press forward and do as much damage as I can while I can. Another marksman. You need healing. So you just run back to this house. And then you can almost get the kill, but the person I do want to get the, the kill is you. Alright, now I can have a Necromancer, who I haven't had all this campaign. Resilient Necromancer is a very, very difficult unit to kill. Alright, there are some purples within range of me now. I just need to uh, hold on tight in the forest. And you can, I think, you need to keep guarding this, uh, this house. That's you out of the picture. Gallas, you come over here. Get your health back. Yep, full health. You two are just incredibly irritating. Well, since it's daytime, I ought to just come out, lose one of you, and see what happens to the others, I think. Two of you have a kill each. Um, both of you are intelligent and resilient, so that's handy. Alright, you're on 16 experience now. Most of these units can't do anything all that helpful. At least not on the flank that I'm most worried about. So I'm worried about this assassin, I'm worried about this wolf rider, I'm worried about these two. And that's really it. What can an assassin, a wolf rider, and two naga fighters, one of whom is soon to be dead, do to my troops? I think not enough is the answer. How far can you move? You could, you can reach, you can range this one, and do damage. That's good. So. First of all, okay, not terrible. Not dead. Then I want to trap you, and I can do that by moving you around to the back and having someone else attack you from the bottom, I think. Uh, no, not that won't work. But 
But if you go there, that will work. Oh dear, that did not go well. is going to be a bit of a survival game, but well, that's okay. Hmm, this one is a little bit tougher than I had anticipated. Who's going to need the health the most down here? Probably people who I can't get the healer to, in all honesty. What I should have done is move the healer onto this house, but it's far too late for that now. What I will do though is move the healer back there. So that she's ready. Then Malkashar can stay where he is. <laughs> Impact damage against mud crawls, eh? Hmm. Oh, the enemy. <laughs> Dang it, I've been rumbled. <gasps> How much money do you have, purple player? Oh! Did that just happen? Did a rabbit that was wounded just steal one of my houses? I'm not, I'm not okay with this. Okay, you go to the great tree. Do some damage. You need to run away as fast as you can. Don't get killed by a rabbit. Still daytime, it's only afternoon. Come over here and attack the one in the forest. Yeah, that's probably wiser. Oh. Okay, still lots of enemies. Everyone up here is out of range. Mud crawlers, you are resistant to most everything. Um, fire is very good against you, arcane isn't bad. Cold isn't bad, but physical damage is not something that you are that's strong against you. Okay, so then the, the necromancer is not a bad choice to have over on this flank then. Can't kill it. Does that mean you can? No, it doesn't. Oh well. Okay, looks like these guys are probably going to push in against... I mean, I know what I'd do if I were them. Could try and forestall it. 
Okay, you're dead. That's a regular mud crawler, level zero. You guys are useless. Okay, all hail the invincible mud crawler over here. Am I going to use my healer to try and finish the job? She's pretty badly wounded. I want to put her on the house. Okay, so no, the healer can just, um, the, the mud, mud crawler can just, ooh, I could, I could use this guy. Alternatively, I could use this guy to deal some damage to this assassin. And again, while it's the daytime, seems like a good time to do so. I can get a lot of attacks in on me if I try that. That's the only problem. I, I might lose a level 3 unit. Um, but then, it's not that much. It's really only 5, potentially, 5 units. And most of them can't do much damage. Okay, I am fine with this. For now, I do need to send someone back to kill that rabbit if it's going to keep... It's better not to take my next house. Whose side are these rabbits on anyway? They're not on the... Are they on the Chaos Player's side? Because if so, that's infuriating. No, they can't be, because otherwise Blue and Purple would be attacking each other. That's light pink. I have to say, I don't really understand the use of um, flora and fauna in this campaign, particularly. Blue doesn't have much to do. Purple, on the other hand. Suicide units on now. Uh, too attracted by trying and failing to kill my uh, to kill my marksman. They're now poisoned and surrounded. But the thing is, I can push back against that. <laughs> you could go over there and fight, but you might die. Even though it's the evening. Oh, it's not, but it's not the evening when, when Elinia's around, is it? Oh. Okay.
nice work we've got these these assassins know exactly the wrong place to stand you've got a good range I am a little bit worried about this flank because I've got to pull you out of your ass out of the fire Okay, all of you are on about half hit, half experience now, so all of you are worth keeping, worth keeping around. There's no good terrain for me to be on over here, though. That's the big problem. So I should try, if I can, and just occupy these three tiles. Now, how best can I do that? Can you kill this one? Hmm, not you. No, you, you're not getting in useful range. You can come here. And then... You can go here. Now I need someone to kill you, and that could be you. Good, good. Now you can run away. And I think no one can reach you if you do that. As long as no one moves. And then I can put Malka Shah on the front lines, and Gallus can take out this one, and you can go here and get some healing. You can reach Alinea, that's okay. And you can reach this one, which is less okay, but that's... So be it. Right, back up to full health for Gallus. Zap with this guy. Good. Only one person can reach here. So it's Malkashar and Gallus who are on the front lines and most in danger. And you should run over here and get this guy his healing. Now what about you? Can you come up around here? Would that be a smart move? I don't feel like it particularly would though. I think you'd be safer off here. You, you'll get, you'll attract more attacks. Because they like attacking weak units with low, with very high defense. That was one thing that the AI is very tempted by. You can reach Patheon, and so can you. So that means you should probably go here. Well, you can still reach him, but only one of you can. Alright. You stay where you are, and heal up. And then you can go and deal with this rabbit. <laughs> The rabbit, the house stealing rabbit over here. Bloody hell. Never seen such cheek. Oh, come on. And wabbits. All right, Igor, you've got possibly the most important mission of your life. Should I get more health first? You can't get any other houses right now. Yeah, okay, one more, one more turn, and I'll send you in. All right, meanwhile over here, 
A lot of units are out of action due to being poisoned or otherwise injured, so I need to see what I can do on this flank. Oh. Excellent. Got the kill without getting poisoned. I'm proud of you. Pretty poor performance, all told, from Galas. Not great terrain for you. And you don't mind about where you stand. But, even better, maybe a spectre. First of all, though, I need to at least try and get this bugger off this car. <laughs> Now you should be able to get get villagers back for me. I think that's what I really want you to do, and also take out these two guys over here before they reach. Ah, oh, you're gonna you're gonna get there. Ah, oh, my finances, my beautiful finances. You could move up and attack, but you will be attacked in return. The person here who I think the hardest is going to be is going to be the hardest to kill is this assassin. So that's the job for someone with a magic attack. And then someone with a good marksman attack can clean up over here. No one is fast enough to reach this guy, which means that you can try it, and you can try and get the kill. Then you move up, you move up, you move round, and everyone needs health. You can attack Malkishar, I'm not too fussed about that, so can you. Okay, good. This is looking a lot better now, this turn. I'm going to send you south as well, and I think it might take a little bit of force to root out these folks. You, not quite the last surviving one, almost, and come forward. Good. Trying to fist pump me. Yeah. Oh, and the rabbit has moved out. Oh, you stupid rabbit. Face your destiny. get the kill, that would be really sweet. Maybe I'll put you in there, get some, yeah. Two hits. And up you go. And that gives you the experience. And it also removes your poison. And the after effect of these maximum level advancements is that they do remove poison. Okay, now fire is really effective against these folks. So even though Melinia herself cannot quite reach, first things first. Yes. Now you can almost get the kill on your own. I feel like you could do with a bit of help, though. Alright. 
All right, that's now 22. Three out of four hits. Yeah. You can see more. Ah, there's a skirmisher over there. Ah, okay, good. I could, good that I could see that because you're going to come in and attack my weak units if I don't do anything about it. So I'm going to put a monkey wrench in the works, and by that I mean a necromancer. Oh, you can still attack her. That's frustrating. Uh, I know who I can put in the way who you won't fuck with, and that is Malkashar. And I think actually. You just want to charge out right now. Yeah. I can't. I can't quite protect this sprite. It's so annoying. What about that? Ah, yeah. There we go. That's the spot. Could get attacked by the boss. Um, but they're actually more likely to go for my necromancer, who they could kill if they decide to really go for it. Saurian flankers are very nasty, and my necromancer is not on safe ground. Let's see. No, I don't fancy your chances. Thought not. And good tranches of health all around. Um, first things first, kill the rabbit. Really unlikely to hit. Okay, am I wrong to be a little bit worried for Igor right now? 23 health? I could say the same for you, except that I would have to stand you on. Still worth it. with anyone else. I could if you weren't there. And soon you won't be. Well, best to finish the job. Still can't reach. Dang. Okay, well, Malkus Shah, you're going to have to tough that one out on your own. This sharpshooter. Again, unless the boss comes out, I'm going to be fine. And even if the boss comes out, I mean, I don't see why he would come out to attack now. That's very unboss like behavior. And I'm going to stick Gallus right next to you. Meanwhile, you go stand behind Helenia, get some health. You go and stand next to Helenia. You go and stand here. You stand here. I don't know why I'm so worried about the boss coming out to attack me. It doesn't seem likely. Can you just go and scout over here? Alright, my scouting units are all in battles for their lives, but they should all win their one-on-ones, I think. Well, 
well, we'll give you this. At least you know what the threat is. You had no clue about anything, and now you're dead. Where did that rabbit go? Ah, oh, the rabbit went onto the house. Ah, oh, so frustrating. Okay, I can do my poison attack to kill you. <laughs> oh man, you couldn't make this shit up. Alright, you get the house. You might have to run away. This rabbit's gonna heal next turn. Is this the beast? Like, the the beast of Cab Bannock? I wouldn't put it past it. Oh, oh look, there's a base up here. Is this the purple, purple base? If so... Oh, the bridge is out. That's why. But I can get across it with spectres, but only spectres and, and Alinea, and maybe these guys. Yeah, they can get across. So probably they should head over there right now, and everyone else can, can, can focus on taking out the remaining troops over here. God, how could this happen to me? Down goes that guy. Good kill, good kill. Alright, everyone make haste over this way. At least the units who can fly should make haste this way. Everyone else is going to have to take the long route. Okay, we see an enemy assassin. Uh, pull back and not let the assassin attack Galas. More houses to capture over here at least, and that might make my income a little bit better. Okay, so the rabbit cannot... I, I can't put the rabbit in a position where... Get in! Alright. That guy was the real BBH, BBEG. This this rabbit, yes, my a thorn in my side for far too long. You go get that house. Let's see the whole map, pretty much. Over here, Galas can. Well, you're gonna just be a real nuisance, aren't you, on the? I don't think any of you are going to be all that decisive in the final battle, because I think I'm going to be able to pull it off with my flying units, but I guess we'll see. There's going to be houses up there, and so this guy's going to keep producing, slowly but surely. I don't want to put my spectre in a position where it can get shot at. Yeah, see there's a, an orcish level 3 assassin unit over here. Um, and I should be able to, with my flying powerful units, take that out without too much difficulty. What does this signpost say? Danger, bridge no longer maintained, use at own risk. So this is why it broke in half. 
Thanks, Blady. I didn't figure that one out on my own. to muster everyone on this side after I've captured these houses back of course and I need to muster everyone on the side in a position where they won't get shot at but where they can make it across It's going to be the daytime, that's good for my troops, especially a linear. Up here, I'd like you, oh no, you actually haven't, sadly, you know, I got you out here to get experience, but you haven't done much with that, so here's some. And everyone else, well. Like I say, these guys are not going to be decisive, but, but well. <laughs> They've got this, this enemy has enough funds to produce a unit every single turn. And that makes things tricky, because I can't actually reach all the way across. Um, I'm going to get attacked by everyone as soon as I go over here. And these guys are going to have to go on non-ideal terrain. A linear can't even... Hmm. Well, you guys do what you can. I don't actually mind too much if you, if you all die. was a poor performance, so you're almost certainly dead. Wow, that Orc Archer just got six hits at 50%. This is definitely the MVP as far as the Orcish player is concerned. And now I think I'll lose both of these. So, yeah. Might have to retreat over here. <coughs> oh, sorry. Trials and tribulations of trying to get experience with level 2 druids. You're not fast enough, so it's going to be Kashar, I guess. Oh. 
Okay, now watch me lose both my sprites somehow to this guy, this guy, and this guy. I guess I can't lose every single unit who's over here. There is that. You're not going to be any use for the rest of the campaign. Let me just path you. There you go. You know what you're doing, at least. Yeah, you guys together, between you got 50% hits, he got 100% hits. Okay. Yeah, so that was Still succeed. But no. It was not to be. Go, go. You stay. You all you need to do is not die if you attack. Um, but that's not guaranteed unless you use your fire aura and then you won't do much damage. Okay. Alinea. wasn't actually expecting that to work. Okay, well that's cool. Um, I don't get a level for any of these troops, but that's okay. And I've only got one sprite who's about to level, and that's okay too. <clears throat> you woes born fiends may take me down, but at the end of the day, the Chaos Empire will prevail. It's not too late for your people yet. Join them, and perhaps they'll spare your miserable lives. Ha! Huh. Is this why you and your people chose to serve them? It's appalling that orcs would rather surrender to a band of bloodthirsty humans than fight back. What has the world come to? You clearly haven't seen the full extent of their power. The followers of Uriah, they are not a threat to be taken lightly, Elf. You'll rue the day you decided to cross them. <clears throat> we did it. Now what? That was not too difficult, but why make us do the dirty work for them, I wonder? They could have sent a real escort to Enhavgar rather than those three individuals alone. It's the sensible thing to do. I assume their military is preoccupied dealing with the Chaos Empire's forces elsewhere. I must admit, I'm pleasantly surprised by your performance in battle, Lord Gallus. Very well then, let us proceed to Ralfin. Is that all? Just for safety, I want you to keep an eye on the forest fairies, especially the lavender-haired one. The last thing we want is creatures like her flirting with our men in the capital. Yes, as you command, sir. You heard that? Yes. Oh well, their love problems are not our business. Sweet, 215 bonus gold, not too much in the way of deaths. Two losses, both of them sprites, one right at the end. Huh, better than even I thought. Okay, um, main enemy there was rabbits and uh, money, and uh, I managed to get both back by the end. So there we are. Jobs are good. And I will see you next time.